That's right, Willie. And speaking of youth hunts, that's where we're going to get started as we catch up with the Bowden boys in Maryland who are up bright and early to hopefully take down a couple of big bucks. It's junior hunt day for white-tailed deer and the frigid 4.30 a.m. air is forecasting a favorable day for hunting. It ought to be cold today. I hope the bucks are moving. Yeah, I don't ever remember a youth day with it being this cold, so I'm, I'm hoping their bucks are going to be on their feet this morning. As you can tell, this is not the Bowden's first rodeo when it comes to white-tailed deer hunting, but they are hoping the chill in the air will bring some bucks their way. Uh, the plan this morning is you and Trent's going to go to the hot spot, and Trevor and I is going to go to where we might see a couple maybe. I think I'm going to wait for a decent one. Trent and I arrive in the box blind overlooking a meadow in the middle of some tightly packed pines after loading his Savage Model 116 300 Winchester Magnum, Trent shows some of the bucks that have made this the hot spot of the year. Trent spots the first deer of the morning shortly before legal shoot time. It's hard to make out if there are any horns, but it's definitely got a big body. Now we've finally got some daylight and around 6.30, just before sunrise, Trent sprays a little attractant out of the blind. And just a few minutes later, a buck is spotted to the right and Trent quietly starts to get ready. Out from the woods walks a buck that he's had his eye on, one with a unique right side rack and a typical left side. His dad, Bruce, is nearby, so he checks in with a text after hearing the shot. And after waiting for a little while, Trent wants to go down and check out his deer. Yeah, he's pretty neat looking. He sure is an interesting looking buck, and that's right up Trent's alley. Trent's gonna move him out of the way in case any more deer come out and to give a little more time for brother Trevor to get a shot. It's still pretty early, early enough to see a small deer come check things out, but Trent's gonna save his remaining tags for a bigger doe. And at about 9.30, the boys are ready to wrap it up. Nice, good job. Thank you. That could make a nice year PM out. You think? Got a big body on him too. I'm dragging him, you? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. This buck's big enough that Dad's gonna have to help drag, but Bruce sure doesn't mind lending the hand. It's a special day. It's a great day. It's a good day for bonding with your kids and getting out in the nature and just seeing the uh, great things we have to enjoy. He and Trevor didn't have much luck, though, seeing only a little spike buck. I've always said they're some of our best hunts. We never harvested anything. It's just a good time together, fellowshipping. But you're not done for the day, right? Nope. I'm going to go again tonight and see if I get one. <laughs> and that's exactly what Trevor did. Well, we shot a nice six, six pointer without ground pines. Yeah. He came out and circled around and came to the corn pile. And we saw he had brown pines, but he came out and he didn't. So he's good at anyway. It's safe to say Maryland's youth deer hunt has been a success as the Bowden boys get their bucks. But as you heard, whether they harvest a deer or not, the Bowdens are always looking forward to their next day in the field.